It's so crunchy. My shoulder's crunchy too. It's all, all crunchy. Okay, so now that I'm relaxed, uh, we can get into this week's video. Uh, this week's video uh, is about some of my top, I guess, tips for running a blog slash having um, a social media presence. Uh, but I want to be very clear and upfront first that it is a lot of work. Um, it's not as simple as you would think getting into it and it can very quickly become a lot of work. Um, so if you are curious about uh, learning just some of my social media and uh, blogging tips, um, stay tuned. So the first thing is actually the easiest and then at the same time it's the hardest. Um, really simple you need to be consistent and get your uh, your stuff on a schedule if you can post one blog post a month or one blog post a week uh, for me I found that posting something twice a week is really the best but everyone's gonna be a little bit different um, I think the most important thing would be to make sure that you are posting regularly and when you say you're going to post or you're going to have something up or you're going to do uh, something, you need to actually go through with it and do it. Uh, so before you start a blog or you know a social media presence or you know whatever you're going to do, um, be really honest with yourself about how much time you have each day to dedicate to this project. Um, because people, I think, can really underestimate the amount of time that responding to uh, all the notifications can take. I do read each and every notification, except for uh, on when you know there are so many that sometimes the social media platform will start to you won't get all of them. There's a point where you don't get all of them, but I read you know as many of those as I can. Um, and that you know that's a lot of work, but I can and I'm consistently having to do that. So really, just getting everything on a schedule um, and being realistic with what you know you really can do. Maybe you only can post once a month, but if you're only going to post once a month, you need to um, you know really be consistently posting once a month. Uh, and people really um, like content it's like with TV shows people like that they can depend on it and they know when it's coming and it's it's regular so that would probably be um, the first thing that I would say is very very important when you're uh, starting a blog especially so the next thing that's a really important consideration when you are starting a vlog channel blog social media presence um, whatever you know whatever you're doing it would is going to be your audience whether you need to figure out who your audience is and you know, who who are you going to be speaking to it's important to have that in mind and you might not know exactly who your audience is going to be when you start and that's okay but after you get going and you start to get an audience whether it's 20 people or 100 people or a few thousand or a few million people um, just really learning who that audience is once you have that audience and also you need to remember to have gratitude for your audience because for whatever reason these are the people who have chosen to like you and these are the people who will you know support you and your content and share your content uh, so you need to have you know gratitude for your audience and I really try to listen to my audience and get feedback from my audience I like to ask my audience questions and engage my audience and um, you know especially on Twitter and even on Facebook, but mostly on Twitter, we've got, you know, there's a very active um, online community and a lot of conversations happening. And I love uh, that we start those conversations. So, um, you know, as you're creating content, it's important to remember your audience uh, and try to engage your audience and be grateful for your audience. Um, and then also, you know, if you make a mistake, um, 
be willing to step up and apologize for that mistake and say, you know what, I look, I made a mistake here. Um, yeah, that. So don't don't forget about your audience because that's that's extremely extremely important uh, to value your audience. So I wish I didn't even have to go into this, but the last thing that I'm going to mention is going to be all of the nasty, rude bullies and horrible people on the internet who are going to come at you and just hate you for simply existing. It's sad, but these people exist and you know they will pop up in your YouTube comments, on Twitter, Facebook, and sometimes even on your own blog and these are people that just want to come at you and attack you for usually no reason you know you might hear them referred to as trolls um, it's just people who like to start trouble or just people who like to start drama or people that are really stuck on an opinion that differs from your own and they can't let it go and the f just seeing you speak an opinion that is different from their own just fills them with blind rage. These people are out there and if you decide to be a content creator and you decide that you are going to be public and be on the internet, you have to be ready for these kinds of people to come at you because they're gonna and there's not a lot you can do about it. You have to know that these people are not, you know, it's not you, it's them. And you need to be ready to hit mute and block and uh, on YouTube you can remove comments and hide comments uh, you know you need to just be ready and on your especially your own website or blog you can choose to remove comments and you just need to be ready to do that when people come at you who genuinely have bad intent uh, there's not a lot of point arguing with most of these people. They're stuck on just whatever they're stuck on or you know, they just decided without knowing you that they don't like you and there's nothing you can do about that. If someone's got, the, got it set in their mind that they don't like you for whatever reason, you just have to let it go. Or you know, if someone's stuck on an opinion that's wrong or is just you know you just have to let it go you can't but waste your time and your energy arguing with some people and the mute block and ban and you know all of these features are wonderful tools uh, to help preserve your mental health and keep people that only want to cause trouble out of your life um, so that would be a really big tip that I'd want to share with you uh, for social media. We made it to the end of a very long video. <laughs> so thank you. You know, if you're still here at the end of this really long video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like more videos with more blogging and social media tips, uh, I can definitely do more of those if that's what you guys want you just gotta let me know um, and subscribe if you like my content and you know I would love to know if you have tips for blogging and for social media for dealing with the bullies and the bad people on the internet who just want to bring you down what what do you do what do you do about this you know I just turn them off it's that's just been the best thing for me um, but anyway, guys, you know, like I said, I will talk to you next week because I've got my social media on schedule. Bye, guys. <laughs>